laughing already. <laughs> the pupusa. The pupu sauce? The pupu what? Yeah, that's the exact reaction I get every single time I try to explain to someone what a pupusa is. Okay? Pupusa is actually not even a Spanish word. It actually comes from the pipil language, which is actually a Mayan word that literally translates to stuffed corn tortilla. And I'm going to give you a quick pronunciation. Pu, pu, sa. Say it. You can stop giggling now and feel free to slap somebody for being bad. <laughs> and like I said, a tortilla is filled inside. You know, literally, you can put anything inside of it, meat, cheese, and beans. We do have vegetarian options for them as well. The most popular being the, the pork, cheese, and bean one. That would be the most authentic one. So what exactly are, you know, what, what is my name? You're wondering now, right? My name is Yesenia, and I'm actually what I call self-proclaimed the online pupusa princess. And what I do is I make sure that each one of you gets to know what a pupusa is. And I'll make sure that tonight, whoever comes to my booth also gets to try it. So stay, stick around. And the, way, the reason why I'm certified to be a pupusa princess is I'm actually a native from El Salvador, which is where the pupusa is from. And they gave me a certificate in pupusiology, as you can see up above. Thank you. <laughs> so what are pupusas, you know? Where do they come from? You know, there's, you know you're, can't, you're probably barely learning how to say it at this point. Well, you ask different people in my family, they'll tell you different things. You know, my brother will tell you that pupusas are like manna from the sky, but much, much better. Because you can actually reheat a pupusa, unlike manna, which you have to eat it the same day. So pupusas, you can save them for a couple of days, okay? Personally, I call pupusas the round hot pockets. I have a little boy. If you have kids, you know this. Anything that you can take with you and they can feed on the way anywhere, good. That's what a pupusa would be to me, a round hot pocket. He takes it anywhere. That's my little boy, by the way. And um, recently, New Times actually called pupusas tortillas on steroids. As you, pupusas are loaded up with so much stuff inside. And on top of that, you get to put a little salad on top of it and some, some uh, sauce. They're just full with goodness all the way through. So where do, pupu where do pupusas come from? You know, there a lot, there's a debate, you know, the, but archaeologists actually confirm that pupusas come from El Salvador. Um, Joya de Serena is actually El Salvador's Pompeii. It's a city that was buried by lava, by a volcano, and that's where they found artifacts of people actually making pupusas back in, like, you know, late, late. And what happened, according to folktale, is the, the prince, the king of El Salvador, wanted to get married. He was single and ready to mingle, and he posted, you know, that he was looking to get married. And he... <laughs> had a cook-up contest. Not a real tweet, but, you know, <laughs> close enough. And one of the little Indian girls from El Salvador at that time, she wanted, you know, to be in the contest, but all she had was corn flour, pork, cheese, beans, and some beans, and, you know, some vegetables. And she decided, you know what, I'm going to make him some pupusas. And she went ahead and made him a whole batch of pupusas, all the different kinds, you know, the pork ones, the cheese, the beans, all of those. She went ahead and presented it to him. And you know what the saying is, right? The key to a man's heart is through his stomach. Well, I beg to differ, ladies. The key to a man's heart is through a pupusa. And that's exactly what happened. The prince was thrilled beyond belief. He got his pupusa. He had the little curtido, the salsa, everything. He was just, this is the woman of my dreams. Perfect. And he ended up getting married to her, OK? So you're wondering now, how, what to eat the pupusa with? What is this curtido thing? Well, curtido is um, it's shredded cabbage and shredded ca carrots, pickled in vinegar with a little bit of oregano. And on the side, you also get some salsa. You can either choose to put that on top of a pupusa, put it on the side, try it with it. It will take the pupusa to the next level, OK? And curtido is like sauerkraut. You know, it's fermented, kind of like, I don't know how to say kim kimchi, but kind of, I've never had it, so, but I know it's similar to it. And that's what basically curtido is. Okay, so you're wondering, how are you going to eat this? It's round, you're going to put salad on top of it, salsa on top of it. How do I eat it? How do you eat it? Well, there's a couple of different ways. If you're a native from El Salvador, you don't use forks. And that's pretty much how you know if someone is really from El Salvador, they just go at it with their hands. Like this is my aunt right here, born in El Salvador, born and raised there. Just hand her a stash of napkins, she's good to go. She's good to go. Same here, I was actually born there, so that's how you'll see me eating them too. Um, other people, you know, if they're not, they're, they're, they're braced here or they were born somewhere else, they'll eat them like that. It's not the endorsed way for you to eat it, but we do have utensils for you, so, you know, you, you can, you'll go ahead and you'll be able to enjoy them that way and not get dirty, because the other way can be a little dirty, just to let you know. So, <laughs> 
So what do you do now? You know, in El Salvador, pupusas are so awesome, they get their own national day. But you don't have to travel all the way to El Salvador to actually enjoy a pupusa. Next month, November 20th, there's actually going to be a pupusa festival in Phoenix, Arizona. I expect to see you there or at my booth later on in a few minutes, later on tonight, so you can try them out, okay? Thank you.